last year, this was a clean sweep over the Los Angeles Lakers. The Denver Nuggets, they brought them brooms out. <laughs> they brought them brooms out, and they got the Los Angeles Lakers out of there in four games. Now, a lot of people have been anticipating this, and they're like, all right, you know, hey, hey, is the, is the Lakers going to get swept again? They played the Nuggets. They haven't been able to beat them in a regular season, and now they got to play them again in the playoffs. They didn't really change too much on their team. Are they going to get swept again? I find it, personally, I find it extremely, extremely difficult that LeBron will allow himself to get swept twice by the same team with the same players. I just I just find it unbelievable that that will happen. LeBron is far too smart of an NBA basketball player to have learned nothing from his previous experience against the same team with the same players. I just don't see it happening. Uh, I see the Lakers end up getting at least two games minimum because of this, but ultimately the Denver Nuggets will win this ball game in six. They're going to win the series in six. Um, I see that. It's no doubt about it. And although the Lakers, you know, they've been playing better and, and they've been good. We've seen them in the play in. They've been OK. Sometimes they go on these streaky runs. We're not going to act like the Lakers was complete garbage last year. We're not about to do that because the only real difference is they got rid of Russell Westbrook, brought in D'Angelo Russell and they got rid of Patrick Beverly. Other than that, um, that's like the main difference. And D'Lo has been playing well, but he still has not been the most consistent player that you can bet your bottom dollar on. I'm not going for that. Lakers, they're, they're a solid team, but they're awful when LeBron isn't on the floor. When LeBron is not on the floor, it, it probably doesn't show statistically, but looking at the games and when you're watching the games, you can see the game shift away from the Lakers when he's not on the floor. You can see the IQ even just sink to a lower level. And it's sad because, you know, they can go on a 10-point run. They can be on a 12-point run. But as soon as LeBron goes get and goes and gets some rest, that's when you see guys start making bonehead mistakes. And the decision-making isn't even there when LeBron isn't on the floor. And, and because um, the Denver Nuggets have so much help coming off the bench and they got guys who are, who are high IQ guys playing in the game, I think this is going to be a key difference maker of why they can beat the Los Angeles Lakers again. And how could I forget? They have more talent than the Los Angeles Lakers. They're going to beat them. And, and, you know, performances from Roy, uh, AD, D'Lo, pretty much anybody who's not named LeBron, they're going to have to come with it if they want to even keep this series close through all four quarters. You, you, you got to outplay them through all four quarters if you want to get one game, yet alone four games. It's not happening, man. The Denver Nuggets, they're going to win. They got too much uh, bench support. They got better rotations. And I think in-game adjustments is going to be a huge separator from what we see Darvin Ham do and then compare it to, to Mike Malone and what he does when he's coaching his team. And ultimately, I'm going with the Denver Nuggets to win this series because they have more talent on their side. That's why I'm choosing them. They're better. They're going to they're gonna out-coach the Lakers. Darvin Ham don't do nothing but sit there with his hands in his pocket. <laughs> Denver Nuggets in six.